All right, this is example five from five five. Um, this is writing sine three X. So I can guarantee you will have one sort of like this. It might not be sine three X. It might be cosine three X. It might be sine four X, something like that, but you don't have a triple angle identity or a quadruple angle identity. So what you have to do is first rewrite this. So I'm going to rewrite this as sine two X plus X because I do have a double angle identity and I'm using my sum identity to separate out three X. So now I'm going to continue to use my sum identity. So if you remember your sum identity for sine, it's sine cosine, same sign, and then cosine sine. And then I can use my double angle identities. So this first one's simple because there's only one. It's going to be two sine X cosine X times the cosine X that's right here. All right, so now right here, I have cosine 2X, and remember, I have three choices. Now, the goal here is to rewrite in terms of sine X. So you might think that you want to use the 1 um, minus 2 sine squared X, which I think is a pretty logical thought. However, I have these two cosines over here that I need to get rid of. And at this point, I don't have a way to get rid of them, but if I use one of the identities that has cosine in it over here, then I could potentially get rid of it maybe. So I am going to use the cosine squared X minus sine squared X identity to replace this. Now, when I do that, now the other identities will work. So these are like puzzles and the other identities will work. It's just sometimes there's an easier way to get to something. Um, so it may take you, if you use one of the other identities, it may take you 10 steps and I might be able to do it in six using this one, or I might take six and you might be able to do it with one of the others in four. So um, I'm just using the one that's making more sense to me. I could potentially maybe try to do another one um, in just a second. We'll see how long this takes. I just don't like the videos to be too long. All right, so I've got two sine x. I'm re going to rewrite this as cosine squared x. Plus, because this had a subtraction sign in it, I do have to distribute. So now I have sine x cosine squared x minus sine squared x. All right, now my cosine squared, both of them, I'm going to use my Pythagorean identity. So sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals one. So cosine squared x equals sine, uh, equals one minus sine squared x. I don't know why I wrote that first. Whoa. All right, equals one minus sine squared x. All right, so that's what I'm gonna replace these with. All right, so I've got two sine x, one minus sine squared x plus sine x one minus sine squared x minus sine squared x. Okay, now everything's in terms of sine and I just need to simplify. So we'll see um, two sine x minus two sine cubed x plus sine x minus sine cubed x minus sine squared x. All right, so let's see, two sine x, three sine x. So I have three sine x minus three sine cubed x minus sine squared x. Oof, that's crazy. Um, but that looks like, did I get them all? This went with these. Minus, minus. Oh, except for this should be sine cubed. Which means that this goes with this one. So I got three sine X minus four sine cubed X. And that's it. I can't, I can't combine those any further because they're not like terms. So there you go. Um, if you would like me to try to do it a different way, if you want to send me a message, I can probably um, try it a different way and send it to you.